All right, in this video, we'll be looking at some uh, geometry vocabulary. More specifically, we'll be looking at what we call undefined terms. The first undefined term that we have is what we call a point. Now, a point has no specific size. It's also used to represent an object or location in space, and we usually name this using a capital letter. So I've given you an example here. We have a point, and I've named that point capital A. Another example might be capital B, but we do use a capital letter to describe a point. So remember, it has no actual size, and we use it to represent the object's uh, location in space. All right, the next term we have is a line. Now, the thing about a line is it has no thickness, and we use it to represent a continuous set of linear points that extend indefinitely in both directions. So it's a bunch of set of points in a linear pattern that extend in both directions, never ends. That's the indefinitely part. Now, when we're naming a line, we can either use a lowercase letter to describe the line, or we can use two points on that line to describe it. So I've given you two different examples here. The first example here, we have a line, and these little arrows show that it extends indefinitely in both directions. Notice I used the lowercase uh, letter m, but I can also choose two points on the line, as I did on that second example, a and b, and describe this as line AB. Remember, these are two points on the line, therefore we use capital letters to describe those two points. The last undefined term that we'll look at is plane. A plane has no thickness, it has no width, and it has no depth. All right, And we use this to represent a flat surface that extends indefinitely in all directions. Now, when we're naming a plane, we use either a capital script letter or we can use three non-collinear points that are on the plane. So I've given you two examples down here. The first example, what I've done is I've used the subscript, or not subscript, but the uh, capital script letter Q, so we can call this plane Q. Or, as I did in the second example, there's three non-collinear points on the plane. We've got A, point B, point C. So I can also name this plane A, B, C. Now remember, because those are points, we have to use the capital letters to describe those points. This is why you see capital A, capital B, and capital C. So again, a plane has no thickness, has no width, and no depth, and we use it to represent a flat surface that extends indefinitely in all directions. I guess the best example of a plane would be like a sheet of paper. All right? So if we extended this sheet of paper indefinitely, we would have an example of a plane. 